So let's start to figure out how we can put in here a button with on click. If I click on this, this becomes red, this one becomes blue, and finally this one becomes green. And we're going to use some advanced tricks here, which will which are related to the data attributes. And that's very interesting. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to create the button. So we have here now our two sides. Very straightforward. I'll make here the three buttons. And we're going to put in here the text element. I want to change them when we click on a button. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to create the buttons. And let's put in here button. And here. And this will be our red button. However, I will not work like a standard value but what I will use is the data attribute so I'm going to use your color and this will be equal to red so this way is a bit more advanced is using JavaScript and it's also a nice way to understand that certain elements are using JavaScript without using classes because that can sometimes create confusion so what I want to do here then of course is a blue one and then here a green one and we put this here, we say here blue and green. So once we did this, we're not using classes on this, so that's really nice. Next one here, we want to have a paragraph. So I'm going to make a simple paragraph here. And this paragraph will just say change color. By default, I'm using Bootstrap for the color. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here we have the buttons. And then we have here the color that is by default white, but it's set on the classes and not specifically on the element that's very important and, and the reason why for that is because this is a uh, uh, important uh, CSS and that te tends to overrule everything else so we put it on here on the div so that if whatever's in the div gets a class but if we specify something here this will overrule or whatever is being specified will overrule the default setting very important for this, same story, what I want to do here is give it a data, and let's say here data attribute, but then the name of text. We don't have to give it any value, that's not necessary. So now we have that, and now let's work on our JavaScript. So how do we get these items, instead of using an ID or class to extract them, we need to now look at the uh, data attributes of data-color. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to say here, constant color button equals document dot query selector all. And what we want to do is we want to select every data or button, basically, or query, or the selector here, every selector with the name of the data dash color attribute. So that's the one we want to grab. We have to make sure that this is in a dash, or sorry, in a uh, bracket, so it will understand this. So once we do this, and now we can say here console log. And let's grab this, put it in there, save, refresh. Open up the developer tab, and you can see here we get a note list with three buttons. So it recognizes these buttons, and they give them, they give them a index number, button zero, one, and two. So it looks like an array, although it's not really an array, it's a node list, but you can almost consider it as an array. It has the same structuring almost. However, it has far more uh, items that we can control on. So that's a big difference with an array. However, we can specify or grab the specific uh, item in here. So how do we do this? Well, you can see we have the index number. If I would say here, index zero, save, refresh, it now will get here the color of uh, red or the data color of red which is the data attribute if I do number one you will see here blue and etc etc so that's quite uh, so once you understand that that makes all sense so what I want to do now is I want to assign this one here with the color that we select on the button so I'm going to say it here another constant and this constant will be the text I guess the text P or something like that which will be related to the data text or the text paragraph equals and then we're going to grab just all of this just put that all in there and this is the same here as well all because there might be more than one and then we're going to say here this will be our data dash text so there we are and if I do now console log we should be able 
to grab all of them but I want to specify that later on as a single one however we only have one item here so it sees it like that but we need to later on select it like this as index 0 to grab specifically this change color here all right now we have this working so what I want to do now is I want to know if I click on one which one did I really click on and how do I extract this color value because we have here uh, this shows here the item and this color button with the index here where they, well there are multiples so how do I get, get only the one that I select well what we can do is the following we're going to create here we're going to grab here the color button array so this is basically array or node list which is very similar to an array and then we say here for each because we can loop through every of these buttons as an array so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say here as a shorthand I'm going to say this will be the button and the index and then we're going to say here this is a callback functionality so we use a function error expression and then in here what I want to do is for each button but what we want to figure out eventually is which one we click on so we're going to look through each button but then we're going to say here button so this is the shorthand for basic for color button but then for the individual we say dot add event listener uh, listener all right so what this really does is it will trigger a event on click when we click on the specific button so it will highlight that button that we want to click on you can say here e for the event then here another function arrow expression because it's a callback functionality and then here what i could do here is console log and basically what we're doing here is we're going to trigger it on click and when we trigger it on click we get this event basically this event here allows us to register on which item we have clicked so we're going to say here the e and then we can say here save refresh so now if i click on one item we see here the pointer event and then what we have to do here is just to scroll down and search for the target we get here the button as well so what we want to do eventually is to find not only the target but the specific target we've clicked on and then uh, let's see if we can find that here uh, you can see here the data of red so it does understand if we click on one it will be the data of red so let's make it more specific let's see it. data target oh sorry e dot target and we can see dot data set because these are data set attributes dot color if I save this refresh now I click on one, it's red, blue, and green. So now we have figured out what is exactly the data attribute that we've selected. It knows exactly which one we clicked on. So now we can assign this one with the color. So how do we do that? Well, we can just indicate here the text P, which is the data attribute of data dash text. I'm going to say a dot, or sorry, not dot, but we say index zero because we only have one single query or one single selector with this condition and then we're going to say here dot style because it's a css dot color equals to what exactly well the color we have selected here or at least from the selected data set attribute of the button so if i save this refresh if i press on this you can see here it becomes red blue or green which is absolutely phenomenal so what we could do as well is if you have multiples we could even do like the index but of course it will then be for each index here let's say here this is index 0 index 1 and index 2 and you will see that these colors will match with the index because here we have this 0 this is a hard-coded one but if I grab here the index of soft code it will loop through every index number and it will understand those let's remove this and let's remove that save refresh so you can see here now we have this and we press on one there will be the upper one will be red the middle will be blue and the lower one will be green and that's basically how you can use a bit more advanced way and shorter coding for with these buttons because we could even create multiple buttons more colors easy so if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn how to insert text from here into the website in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to preview input text in a paragraph tag in javascript